Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Aisha. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that you see right here. It's a very simple, neutral look, um, even an almost nude lip. I typically don't even wear makeup to work, but when I do, I do something very simple like this. So if you're interested in something that's very simple, neutral, and work friendly, stay tuned to the video. Starting off with a clean bare face, I'm just using my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm going in with this very neutral tone color that's right underneath my eyebrow bone. Okay, and we're just blending that all out. It's not noticeable. This is just to give a just a little faint eyeshadow look, but still keeping it very friendly for work. Now I'm going in with the color Summer Yum right underneath that. And I'm just focusing that right underneath that brow bone color. And we're going to just put that on both sides and blend it all in. Now we're going in the color Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm putting it all over my lid. For the brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the color Nectar. It's a very um, skin tone kind of highlight. It just give me, gives me a light glow. But not doing too much. As I said, this is all for work. Those two foundations I showed were the Fenty and the... MAC Pro Longwear. I've been mixing those lately and they have been like a great skin combination as far as keeping me matte but still dewy and making it able to be able to blend in very well. So I'm just putting a couple dots of the first foundation which is Fenty in 370. Now I'm going in with NC44 in the MAC Pro Longwear and I'm just going to put that in any spots that I didn't go in with the Fenty foundation. And it looks like quite a bit, but it's actually not. Okay, now I'm blending this all in with my brush. This is just an oval shaped brush and it does very well at blending in my makeup. Making sure I don't miss any areas at all, including getting the neck because we all want it to be blended out as well. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to make sure that the makeup is blended all out in my hairline. And next I'm going in with this contour kit. As you can see, I'm not doing a harsh contour. I'm just going in and I'm bronzing up my cheeks some. As I said, this is not a beat look just to give me um, more cheek definition. Okay, now I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm just using the color Golden Bronze in my inner corner. And also topping it off in this e.l.f. highlight. I'll insert the name. And I'm also adding it to my brow bone highlight as well, just to give me a slight more glow. Now I'm going in with my Tarte blush in the color Party. And I'm using it just on above that contour area. Just to give me a bit more of a rosy kind of feel, but it's a very subtle pink. It's not extremely noticeable, I guess I would say. Now I'm going to be using pretty much the whole palette just to highlight my entire face. I like to start on my forehead and use the same one on my forehead and my chin. Then I use a different one on my cheekbone area. I kind of mix the bottom two highlights in the palette. And I proceed to just add a little bit to my nose and right in my cupid's bow area. And just so it's not too harsh, I do go in with a beauty blender and I kind of blend it into my skin. Because I don't want it just to just be sitting right there on my face. I want it to look like a natural glow. Next I'm going in with this um, liquid lipstick that I'll put the color either in this video or probably in the description box or both. 
but it's actually the name of it is actually nude but um as you can see it's not a nude color but it's it could be kind of a nude on me or somewhere a little darker and probably be their perfect nude on um, me it's kind of like a it has a hint of orange in it and also it's just like um a nice tan color on me using my favorite two setting sprays um the one from mac and the one from elf i'm using the elf illuminating one Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoy watching it. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.